How is it going, my friends? Today's video is going to be a little different than normal when it comes to a virtual tour. Usually, you know, we try to get out, we try to walk around, we try to show you what it's like to just like spend time in an area, right? To like actually be on the ground in the area. What does it feel like? And while we are going to do that, there's an utter lack of places to park, an utter lack of places to walk as like a normal pedestrian in this area because it is super nice. Basically, if you're looking for like an absolutely palatial estate, let me direct you to Forest Hills. And so rather than just walking around an area, we're gonna hop in the car, we're gonna drive around, I'm gonna kinda narrate it's going to be like, instead of me talking to you like this and kind of showing you around this way, I'm going to be doing this as I drive. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Um, maybe it will realize that collectively we all think this is better. I'm very curious to know what your thoughts are in the comments, but I'm honestly just very excited to show you around this place. Forest Hills is the kind of place where just like, you know, you're just daydreaming. You just want to go look at some of the craziest houses. Yeah, here's where they are. All right, let's go. How's it going, y'all? First of all, check out this crazy house. Looks like a Bond villain house. My name is Jesse Lynch, and I work with the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Tennessee, and you can check out our website, welcometotennessee.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in the beautiful Nashville, Tennessee, the great state of Tennessee, and today specifically, Forest Hills, Tennessee. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, dimension, first time home buyers, relocations, that's what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those two things appeal to you, then do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified so you can see every time we put out the best videos anywhere on the internet about what it's like to live here in Nashville. And I would truly appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and literally say anything at all in the comments. You can say, what's up, Paul? And that will make sense in a second. That engagement is helpful not only to this video, not just to this channel and this real estate team, but to other folks like yourself who are looking for this same type of information, the same type of content. And if that is you, if you are thinking about buying a house here, if you're moving here, then get a hold of us and we will absolutely crush it for you. Nobody will work harder for you. I don't know that I really need these right now, so let's take them out. So you can go to our website, welcome to Tennessee.co. We have a contact form that you can fill out. Literally, will take you 30 seconds or less. Uh, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to Tennessee.co. They lead to the same inbox, so it's fully up to you how you do it. Today's video, we're talking Forest Hills, Tennessee. This place is epic. The houses here are epic. And like I said at the beginning, it's there's fundamentally nowhere within the boundaries of Forest Hills to sh actually shoot. And the Forest Hills boundary like truly in somewhere right around where I'm standing. And especially if you look at Google Maps, it's always it kind of looks like a drunk person drew it. But you know, what do you do? Right over here is the Chickering Trailhead, a beautiful trail indeed. However, not technically part of Forest Hills. So I feel, I feel like I'd be doing you wrong if we went there and talked about it as though it was Forest Hills. This crazy house back here, beautiful, I'm not saying anything bad about it, uh, is indeed part of Forest Hills. And so is everything that we're about to look at. And unlike all the other virtual tours where I try to be on the ground and try to actually be there walking around, today we're gonna drive around. And my man Paul is gonna join us. And what up? <laughs> and we're just gonna drive around and do our best to just show you kind of like a first person view of the neighborhood. Yeah. So uh, let's go. Let's go.
All right, my friends, right now we are rolling around Forest Hills and it is just a beautiful, like crazy big houses. Not everything is massive. Everything has a huge yard though. Uh, like, I don't know, I bet two acres is, there's, there's weird laws about what, how big the acreage can be for a house here. And it's all quite large which you know makes for some very like stately homes and really beautiful stuff and then yeah you can see sort of stylistically there's a pretty big variety right there's like crazy like cool modern stuff obviously the the one that looked like the bond villain house uh, but then there's also like really cool sort of like colonial era almost like plantation looking homes and yeah just some very cool architecture for sure and geographically speaking uh, forest hills is probably depending on how bad traffic is forest hills is going to be 20 to 30 minutes to downtown and a really similar distance to the airport naturally that's going to sort of depend on where you're going uh, within forest hills and naturally that's going to you know change depending on where you're coming from within forest hills but ballpark 20 to 30 minutes to both the airport and downtown for how big of a landmass it is, the population is really low. It's 4,600 people and it, it's a good chunk of land. But I think as you watch all this footage, as we're rolling around it, it's not surprising that it's not dense because every house has such huge amounts of space that yeah, you couldn't fit all that many houses and all that many people, although the houses are massive, so they could probably house 20 people at times. <laughs> and then as far as the schools are concerned, specifically for Forest Hills, they're pretty good. Not as good as I might expect as far as public schools go, but I would also like to uh, offer the notion that a lot of the folks who live here are actually going to private school, right? So public schools are not the, necessarily the biggest priority because there's probably a pretty good demand for public schools, in private schools, I'm sorry, in this area. So, as, but specifically speaking public schools, you're in that Metro Nashville public school district, because uh, technically it's within the boundaries of Nashville, but it's sort of its own entity, um, which is an interesting thing, but they, there's certain uh, utilities and such that certain services that Nashville offers the rest of Nashville that it doesn't give to Green Hills because they are, uh, or sorry, that it doesn't give to Forest Hills because it, they're just sort of exempt from uh, certain things because of just how it's structured. So the schools, um, you know, it, the public schools, it's the most diverse school district in all of Tennessee because it's the national uh, school district. And you have Hillsborough High School, which uh, gets a B minus, and that serves all of Forest Hills. And then for middle schools, you have John Trotwood Moore Middle School that gets a B plus, and Percy Priest Elementary School that gets a B plus. Those serve the entirety of Forest Hills. Um, but again, there's, I would say there's definitely folks who are prioritizing private schools in this area. And I think once you dive into the housing prices compared to the public school, that's kind of when it becomes obvious that private schools are probably a thing that are happening, right? Median sale price for single family homes here, which is literally all it is, by the way. Um, it's almost entirely single family homes here. Median sale price is 2.1 million. So not particularly cheap by any uh, measure, uh, but you know, it's obvious, right? It's like the people who are living here aren't exactly looking for cheap. They're looking for like the best, you know? And God, it is so nice here. Uh, <laughs> the all Like all of these houses are just so, so beautiful. The cheapest house on the market currently is 1.03 million. Um, and the most expensive is 15 million. So for sure, a, a big range there, but it, it medians out to 2.1. Uh, and yeah, the, the majority are gonna be, you know, uh, considerably, I would say, the majority are probably under three. Uh, and then, yeah, there's gonna be a handful or some that are uh, higher than that. All right, 
we are going to start talking pros and cons of Forest Hills. And it's a pretty straightforward neighborhood, right? You drive around, you're like, okay, I get the point. I, get, I see what's going on here. Um, for the most part, it's, you know, let's just dive into pros, right? Beautiful homes, like in, in a diverse sort of like architectural style, right? You have like beautiful modern homes that are just insane. And then you have much more like kind of modest in size, sort of Rambler style homes, and then kind of everything in between, right? And the beauty of the Rambler style homes is this neighborhood will support whatever renovations that you want to do, right? To me, that's like, it's like, you know, the sky's the limit for kind of how you want to renovate a house. I mean, maybe not a gold toilet, you know, that might not, you might not get your money back there, but you know, you could really deck out any other thing. And I suspect you would, for the most part, get your money back because there's good demand for, for the area, right? And, you know, beyond the beautiful homes, I, I've said it already, but just massive lots. Like even the smaller lots in the city are big uh, by almost any standard, you know? The small lots in this neighborhood, if you put them in another area, could look just ridiculous, right? If you put them in like a Nashville neighborhood or like a, a more traditional sort of suburban neighborhood, they could just look so ridiculously large. Um, and then, you know, it's not just sort of impressive neighborhood, which it is, definitely is impressive, but it's quiet, it's peaceful, right? The, you know, like there's people going for a walk right over here. You can't see them, but they, you know, it, it, it's a very like, I don't know, accommodating area to, you know, you couldn't have kids playing in the street, but they have such massive driveways that they don't need to play in the street, right? There's just the biggest driveways too. Um, look at this house. I mean, that is a beautiful house. Um, and yeah, and it also faces this creek, kind of faces this little hill over here. Super cool. Um, another pro is your proximity to downtown and to the airport. You're 20 to 30 minutes to downtown or the airport. Uh, that's slick to have this much land. And also like the opportunity for like an equestrian, right? Like you could like, I've seen a couple that have, you know, like horses here. It's just so impressive. And then, you know, I mean, outside that, I would say, you know, your uh, your access to the outdoors is, it's all about your yard, right? So I'm, I'm gonna hop over to cons, right? I think the pros are obvious. You have beautiful homes, massive yards, and like just cool geography. And then the, the cons are maybe a little bit less obvious, but for one, there's hardly any sort of municipal park space in Forest Hills because everybody's yard is so big. You know, <laughs> if, they, if they took eighth an acre from everybody's yard, they could have a bunch of really great parks, but that's just not how it's set up, you know? Um, the, it's instead, it's uh, it's kind of all about your little, you know, slice of, slice of America, you know? And then I think the other, probably the most obvious con is that it's expensive. 2.1 million median home price here. That's obviously really expensive. So let me just glaze over that, right? Because that's so obvious. Um, but then the next, I, I would say, you know, thing that I, I would not have expected is that the public schools here are not that great. But again, I'm, I'm just, my assumption is that most of the folks who live here are going with private schools because they can, you know? And then as far as other cons go, I think, again, it's sort of apparent. It's the fact that there are, it's all houses. There's, you can't go to the grocery store. You can't go to a corner store. Even. I think there's one Shell gas station somewhere within the boundaries of Forest Hills. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's entirely residential, which I would not say is inherently uh, a con because it comes with the fact of like it's really quiet it's really private it you know feels very very safe here um but just the fact that any errands you're running assuming you're running themselves yourself 
you know, you're not getting them delivered or have somebody who helps you. Um, but, you know, obviously a lot of people are going to do their own shopping who live here. Uh, yeah, you're a, you're a little ways away from anything. And, yeah, you're, you're kind of, a, it's a little bit insular. You're kind of in your own little bubble and you have to leave that bubble to go do most of the things. No sidewalks, nowhere to get a cup of coffee here. Yeah. Come on. Right now I'm at Kersey Warner Park, a beautiful park. However, not technically in Forest Hills, right? There's no there to shoot at all. That's just a personal pet peeve. Obviously not many people are trying to walk around shoot videos. So I can't really count that as a con, but something that drove me nuts. Also like no sidewalks anywhere. I probably could have just had Paul drop me somewhere and walked on the sidewalk, but there are fundamentally zero sidewalks at all. And before I dive into some other areas that might interest you, if you like what you see here in Forest Hills, I would just like to say that if you are thinking about moving here, we would love to be the ones to help you find the right home in the right area for the right price. So get a hold of us and we will absolutely crush it for you and nobody will work harder. <sighs> Promise. You can go to our website, welcome to Tennessee.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out literally in moments or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to tennessee.co. They lead to the same spot. So completely up to you, how you do it, how you reach out, it's your life, but you'll be glad you did. And if it's a little too early to reach out officially, then go hang out with us on Instagram at welcome to tennessee.co. Okay, what are some spots to consider if you like what you see here in Forest Hills? Ah, I think it's pretty, pretty easy for me to, to, to figure this out. Right next door is Green Hill. Green Hill is a beautiful place and has a lot in common with being very neighborhoody and very sort of uh, like high end, right? But there's a little bit more going on in Green Hills than here, right? A little more conveniences and that kind of thing, maybe even a little more public park space. Uh, and then just to the west is Belle Mead. And Belle Mead is be still my heart, Belle is a beautiful place. Uh, very similar in its sort of like grandiosity, right, to Forest Hills. It is beautiful. Some of the coolest houses, I think, in probably all of Tennessee are in Belle Mead. That's kind of true of here too, though, right? And I think they have that in, in common, like amazing homes, massive houses, generally expensive as well. And then if you're looking for somewhere that is uh, still very nice, very high end, but maybe not as expensive. In fact, about half as expensive on median. I would say check out Brentwood. Brentwood is beautiful, a little more suburban, um, but you get these huge lots and beautiful houses. And I always say that it reminds me of like MTV Cribs, but that's true here too. Like <laughs> all these houses, Bell Mead and Forest Hills, and like any of these could have been on MTV Cribs, be like a, you know, Titans wide receiver or something. But yeah, Brentwood has just way more in the in the sense of like suburban amenities, right? So if you want something that's a little less tucked away, a little less sort of private and exclusive, um, then Brentwood might be a good choice, but still very, very high end, very beautiful and not too far off geographically. But those are really the ones that come to mind. Definitely check those out. And if you're new here, you know, we are going to, we either have videos on all these things or we will have videos on the ones that we don't. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified so you can see every time we put these videos out. Maybe you're like, oh, Bell Mead sounds cool and we don't have it yet. Well, don't worry, we'll have one soon. Absolutely promise that we will. So make sure you hit that subscribe button just so that you can see every video we do. And we do our best to put out the most immersive, most honest, and we do our best to put out the best videos anywhere on the internet about what it's like to live in the Nashville area, in the great state of Tennessee. And yeah, today specifically, Forest Hills, 
Um, thanks for hanging out, y'all. We did it. This has been a virtual tour of Forest Hills. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, but hey, I'd love to know your thoughts on the talking while describing the B-roll thing that we tried in the car. I don't know that I really loved doing it. I thought it was a little uh, clunky and felt weird to do, but it's the most efficient way that I could imagine possibly doing a place like Forest Hill. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment. I'm curious to know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.